Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're well. As you can tell, I'm in a completely different location. I like to keep you guessing. So today I'm actually filming in Cornwall where I'm staying with family on holiday. Oh, on holiday. Welcome back to my channel, this is EcoBoost, my name is Kate Arnell, and if you haven't subscribed already, then just take a moment, have a little think about it, and hit that red subscribe button, but only when you feel ready to. Don't want to pressure you. Today I want to share with you guys how I do my typical weekly zero waste grocery shop. These are the things that I buy on a regular basis, once a week, sometimes I go more than once a week, but generally once a week I take my zero waste shopping kit, basically my reusable cloth bags and tins, and I pootle on down to a local grocery shop near me where I can buy most produce loose and I can buy things from the butcher's counter and the cheese counter by taking my own containers. So I'm gonna talk you through how I roll. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, what works for me won't always work for somebody else, but hopefully it might inspire you to look around and see what's available to you and see if you can try and shop without so much darn packaging. If you wanna know more about my zero waste grocery shopping kit, so all the reusables, bags and tins and things that I take with me, then I have done a whole other video on that. I'll link that in the info box below. So in case I don't go into it in enough detail in this this video, there's a whole other video dedicated to it. So let's hop right in to my weekly zero waste grocery shop. So I basically take one large reusable bag with me and inside I've stuffed all of the containers and cloth bags I'll need. So that is an empty egg carton, I've got some cloth bags that I can use for various produce and bread and things, I've got another canvas bag or another reusable bag in there which I use specifically for meat. And then I've got my reusable stainless steel containers. So it takes me about 10 minutes to walk to my local grocery shop where everything there is organic. There's a lot of loose produce and they've got a butcher's counter, a cheese counter. I do sometimes go to farmer's markets as well. So I normally head straight to the back of the store where they've got all of their organic produce of vegetables and fruits just looking all gorgeous there. And I try to choose what's in season preferably stuff that they've grown from their own market garden or from British suppliers. I'm a big believer in supporting local and eating foods that are kind of native to your environment. I honestly believe that they're designed to nourish you for that climate. Normally I just chuck any vegetables straight into the basket with no bags, they just roll around loose in there, but there are some things that are a little softer, a little more delicate. So tomatoes and mushrooms, for example, that get easily squashed, I tend to put those in their own little cloth bag, just to protect them a little bit. I also like to try and buy one or two uh, vegetables or fruits that are a little quirky, a little unusual, mainly because I like to incorporate as much variety as possible and if it's in season, I think we should be eating it. But also, I like the challenge of trying to work out what on earth to do with a kohlrabi. I also love finding things like carrots and beetroots with their tops on. It just means that I can have a bit more variety with what I'm cooking with. The tops of the carrots, the tops of the beetroots can be used as an extra vegetable or I can work them into something else. I got options. I mean, even their coriander looks ridiculously enticing, but it's still coriander. Once I've got all my loose veggies and fruits, I head over to the cheese counter. Sometimes I take a glass container with me. On this occasion, I just took a cloth bag. And that's why I always take extra cloth bags with me because sometimes I don't always have enough of the right containers, but most things can go quite happily into a cloth bag. And they've usually got some tasty little morsels to try out there too. Basically, my husband and I eat a lot of bread. We're big bread fans. So I normally buy one loaf, usually like an organic sourdough, sometimes an organic baguette as well. And I simply just put the loaves straight into a cloth bag. It's so darn toasty. I also stock up on organic eggs. I just put them straight into my empty egg carton. 
At the butcher's counter, I mean, they know me pretty well by now, but even so, sometimes there is a new person working on the counter and they've all been totally cool with me just saying, hey, I brought my own tins, are you okay to put the meat straight in? But most of the guys there know the drill by now. So I just hand them a container and say, could you put a whole chicken in that one, please? Or can I get some beef in that one? Some of them will weigh the container on the scales and tear it, so take the weight of that container and then deduct it from the weight of everything else. Others will just weigh the meat and then put that into the container. Each person's got their own way of doing it. And those meat tins, I normally put in a separate basket. And when I get home, I like to either wash them a little bit with some washing up liquid on the outside. They are watertight, so it won't get inside any of the containers or I'll spray them with my multi-purpose cleaning spray, which is basically 50-50 water and vinegar. And that just means that any bacteria that might be on the outside is killed off. Once I've got all the bits and bobs I need, I head straight over to the cash desk where they'll scan the meat tins and put them in one bag, and then they'll weigh all of the produce and put all of that loose into another bag. I mean, it's super straightforward. Also, Dalesford have got a great little loyalty card scheme. I know this sounds like a massive advert for Dalesford. It's really not. It's just the place I go to do most of my grocery shopping. Um, so basically, they stamp your card every time you spend over £20 on your grocery shop. So for every five stamps you get, £10 off. Outside, they have a collection of various plants growing mostly things like kale and chard and they do encourage people to help themselves so occasionally I have picked a little bit of chard just to top up my grocery shop. They've also got lots of flowers and plants to encourage bees and the last time I went there were a heck of a lot of bees there so it's clearly working. I also love that they give any leftover food that's still edible to those in need via the Felix project. And there you go guys, that's what my weekly grocery shop looks like. I mean it's pretty straightforward, most of it is on autopilot for me right now. If there are things that I need like olive oil, I'll go to a little place in Battersea or there are various other places in London where I can take a bottle and fill up there. There are also places like the E5 Bakehouse which I go to every now and again when I'm in East London and I'll take some cloth bags with me and normally stock up on things like sugar, salt, lentils, beans, those sorts of bits. They actually have a growing bulk section and they've just started selling flour in bulk as well. And then there are also various locations throughout London where I can refill things like washing up liquid, etc. I have done a whole blog post on the places where I shop zero waste in London, so I'll link that in the info box below. It's a growing list and if you've got any suggestions, please let me know and I will update it as much as I can. I'll also put a link to another really great post by thezerowaster.com and she's listed all of the locations that she knows of throughout the whole of the UK. So if you're looking for somewhere near you and you're based in the UK and you want to see if there's somewhere that you can shop uh, by bringing your own packaging, then check that out. It's a really Really great list um, and I've certainly used it myself to find different locations. I'll also put a link to the Zero Waste Home bulk locator as well so that should help you find something that's kind of close to you in your area. My pieces of advice would be to go with the flow, see what's available to you, be prepared and take some cloth bags and various tins and you'll gently find your flow and what works for you. Politeness goes a long way so simply asking if somebody can put something straight into your container with, with a smile uh, goes down very well. Oh, and before I go completely, there are actually a couple of zero waste shops set to open at the end of this summer in London. One is called Bulk Market and she's currently crowdfunding, so I'll put a link to that in the info box below. It's really exciting, she's going to have so many awesome things like a nut butter machine, she's going to have an apiary at the back so there'll be honeybees making honey. She'll also have a composting drop off so you can take your food scraps down and drop those off at her composting machine, it's so awesome and it's basically going to be a hub where people can learn more about living a zero waste lifestyle, shop package free if you want to contribute anything. Donations start as little as five pounds and there are various rewards depending on how much you gift. I contributed a few weeks ago and yeah, I'm just so excited. The more shops we see like Bulk Market, then the easier it will be for people to shop 
and live a zero waste lifestyle. The second shop that's opening is called Hetu and she's doing a vegan zero waste shop. I met up with the founder and she's got some seriously awesome plans and it sounds like the design of it is going to be flipping amazing. So again, I'll link that in the info box below. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you feel inspired to try giving zero waste grocery shopping a little go. Who knows what's beyond the supermarket in your local area? Maybe you've got some great bulk stores that you don't know about. Maybe you've got a community supported agriculture that you could get involved with or a veg box scheme or maybe just an awesome farmer's market you can go and check out. And remember, take those cloth bags with you because you can never have too many on your person. See ya!